Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here. Today, we're going to talk about the left hook. All right, so the left hook is one of the most important punches we have in boxing. I know I mentioned that the jab was, but the hook is one of the most important power punches you're going to have. And it's also one of the most difficult punches to master. So today, I'm going to share a few details to help you out with that left hook. So check it out. All right, everyone. So we talked about the cross in the last video. And the left hook is going to be a beautiful punch that can follow that cross, all right? So sometimes when we throw the left hook, it could be thrown on its own as solo punch. Or other times, many times, it's going to be followed up after the right hand. So for example, if you right hand here, you'll follow up with the left hook. Or at other times, a basic classic combination will be the jab cross following up with a left hook, okay? So, but today we're going to break it down a little bit to help you out to do it properly. Because a lot of times when people start out, We'll teach them the straight punches, and then once they acquire those skills, we'll teach them the curving punches, which are the hooks and the uppercuts. So the uppercut I'll cover in the next video, but today, that lead hook is going to be the topic of this tutorial. So once we're in our good stance, we have our hands up, all right? We want to always focus on turning the punch and imagining that we're going around someone's glove. So if this is my glove here, I'm on guard. Usually it should be here, but I'll leave it here for the purpose of the demo. Imagine your punch is coming around this glove and hitting me square here on the chin, on the jawline right here, all right? So when you throw your punch, this is exactly what you want to visualize, okay? So turning around and hitting someone on the side as such, all right? That's your left hook. So. A couple of things. Number one, let's start with the legs, all right? So your feet. So when you're in a good boxing stance now and you're going to throw the hook, it's important to always rotate the same side leg as your punch. In this case, my left leg is going to rotate. So there's going to be three things that are going to occur. So number one is going to be the hip, all right? So my left hip is going to turn into the punch. Number two is going to be my lead knee. That left knee has to turn inward. And number three is going to be the heel. So watch how my left heel raises off the ground and turns on the outside, all right? So I can pivot on the ball of the foot as such, all right? So if I'm pointing my foot this way, as I throw the hook, whoom, it turns and everything is synchronized, all right? So the lower body thing is I'm going to read when it's time to throw my hook, but also time the pivot. So when I turn, I have to make sure that my back leg is the stopping or supporting leg. All right, a lot of times people will turn, but they'll turn both feet like this, and that's wrong, right? I'm off balance, so I want to keep something so I can follow up. So as I throw this one, when I return, this one can pivot so I control, let's say, for example, a right hand right after. But two things is rotation of the lower body, and then the upper body is the second one as well, because now look at the left shoulder. As I'm turning, I have to raise the elbow and rotate the shoulder into the punch. All right, so it's important to look at yourself in front of a mirror and look to make sure that these things are occurring when you throw your punch. Don't just throw it like this and just whip your hand into the punch. All right, you gotta make sure that you turn and you turn your whole body into the punch. And also, I'm gonna talk about a couple of mistakes that people do is don't telegraph your punch. A lot of times people will throw the hook and they bring the hand down to load it up before they throw the hook, all right? And that's wrong because, of course, I'm telegraphing the punch and I'm also leaving myself open before the, the hook will land. The second thing is people will drop the opposite hand. They'll throw the hook like this and they drop this one. We talked about that in the jab and the cross videos. So they'll do this, all right? So this is a common habit. I don't know why. Um, a lot of beginners, sometimes when they throw the left, they drop the right. When they throw the right, they'll drop the left, all right? But try to train yourself to keep the opposite hand in a guard position because when you throw the hook, don't forget, especially the short hooks, you're in the same distance to receive your opponent's left hook. All right, so if you throw the hook and you drop yours, if there's a fraction of a second where his hook lands before you do, you're gonna get caught, all right? So you wanna have your glove there to protect yourself. So I would rather catch the hook on my glove than directly on my chin. Another thing too is people will lean in or out, meaning they throw the hook, but then because the opponent is a little bit further out, they're going to lean into the hook like this. All right, this is wrong. Look at my back foot. It's really off balance right now because I'm raising off the ground. So I want to be grounded. So if I need to cover distance, I'll step in with my lead foot and then cover that, that range. All right. Also, don't lean back. A lot of times people will throw the hook and they're scared of getting hit. So they'll throw it like this. 
right? They expose themselves even more, plus you're not in a good position to follow up with another punch or even defend if someone was to counter you. Um, one more common mistake. I think a lot of times people not only will drop their hands, but they'll kind of like lift the elbow in the wrong position. So what I mean by this is this. If I throw the hook, they'll keep the elbow down like this and they'll just whip it sideways. Slow motion, see how they whip it sideways. I need to rotate my knuckles and my fists, so that means I need to raise my elbow in this fashion. Now, don't raise it too high where if you lift it too high and you land on the target, boom, you're gonna injure your shoulder, right? This is exaggerated, but this is no good as well. So it's almost like you wanna draw a straight line, boom, when you throw your hook, okay? Imagine you're gonna throw an elbow, boom, very similar on the hook, boom. Now, one more thing I wanna cover is how should you place your fist, your glove, all right? A lot of people will talk about and I get this question a lot. They'll say, coach, should I place my glove like this or like this, all right? So I call this the horizontal hook and this I like to refer as the vertical. So it's a question of preference. You'll talk to 10 different coaches and you'll get 10 different answers, all right? My take on it is try both ways, see which one you're comfortable. I prefer one way, but I'm not gonna share here because my way doesn't mean it's the best way for you. But Try both ways where you hook as such, and sometimes you'll hook as such as well. Now, you might get comfortable hooking a certain way when you're in a close distance, all right, such as a close body shot, boom, coming back upstairs with a short left hook. Sometimes you're gonna be using your longer range hooks. So from here, you just pop one out from there, almost like it's uh, fainting a jab, but it's curving on the side for a lead hook. Other times you'll step to the side and use a check hook. Now, depending on your style, you might choose to switch a position of how you position your fist, all right? But that's gonna be something you're gonna develop the more you train and you shadow box it, and then you train on the focus mitts as well as the heavy bag, and eventually in sparring. So guys, there you have it. Quick lesson, quick tips on some details to throw a proper left hook in boxing. Hope you enjoyed this content. Leave us a like as well. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're new here, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Take care.